morning. It's Londa here over at Arlington Gardens and I decided to pull some cards for everybody and I think you would be pleasantly surprised and pleased at what the etheric realms, the angels and the fairies here want to tell you. So let's get into it. So here we have this beautiful spread. We'll start with listen. This is the beautiful Manjushri card. Whenever you get this card, this is really always just telling you to listen to your guidance. They're always there. Your team is never off duty. They're here for you 24 seven and they hear all your prayers. So just listen to that. Shut out noisy stimulation like telephones, television, just really relax in a quiet place. Don't try to make anything happen. Just listen to your own thoughts, breathe, and the, just really feel the rhythm of your heart. Mentally ask your guides and angels, whatever it is that's on your mind that you need help with. Listen to the loving truth that they speak in your heart, body, and mind. Listen to your own inner truth, trust your intuition, and take action accordingly. I've been realizing that my guidance sometimes comes where it feels like my own imagination unfolding, like I'm making it up, but really, that's just your guide. So, Manjushri is a Buddhist deity of wisdom who holds a sword to cut through illusions and bring about clarity and understanding. Call upon, call upon Manjushri for help with understanding divine messages and to increase your receptivity to divine intelligence and wisdom. We all have access to it, so just stop talking and listen. Energy healing, Merlin. This is a great card. Merlin's actually been coming into my life quite often lately. Let's see what the cards have to say about that. Very powerful card. So the situation you've inquired about involves energy healing. I know that I have been really needing to do that lately it's like when things get pulled to the surface especially dark energy or old patterns sometimes you really just need to clear it away however that is for you whether it be you know get a massage take a salt bath it could be something really simple like that meditating asking Archangel Michael to come in and clear and protect your energy field strengthen it the Ego Eradicator is another good one that I just took us through today. Um, that's a Kundalini exercise that you can do. Um, Qigong, Reiki, Pranic Healing, Healing Touch, um, Cranial Sacral, there's so many modalities. So this card is really just urging you to take care of your energy field because a lot of the stuff that might be coming at you right now might, might not even be yours. So. Just feel into your body, see where it takes you on that. Find the blessings in your current situation. Krishna, this is a beautiful card. Look at that tranquil lake there. So beautiful. So finding the blessings in your current situation. This can sometimes be a challenge, but there's always a blessing, no matter what is going on. I've had some friends tell me lately that, um, you know, even though someone gives you a box of darkness, it's still a gift. So really see the gift in everything. There is always an opportunity to grow and learn in every situation, every person in our life, especially difficult people. I would say some of my best teachers have been teachers that made me cry or think harder or, you know, just put a little extra effort into whatever it was that I was learning. So I'm not saying like, you need a cruel, mean teacher to, you know, be in your life to, to really learn something. But sometimes those are the ones that really stick out and, and force you to change. Because otherwise we're comfortable and stagnant and it's those people that wake you up. So um, I've had a few experiences like this and I'm, I'm noticing more and more the trend of that. So um, learn the lessons so you don't have to keep... <laughs> having those types of people show up in your life. Because when you don't get the lesson the first time, it just keeps coming back and sometimes it gets harder and harder. So yeah, Krishna is just saying, 
you know, when we curse a situation, we block its contrast or we block its energy flow and things fester and grow worse. So in contrast, as you recognize the blessings within your current situation, supportive and healing energy flows towards you. So this card comes to you because there's an unrecognized blessing within your current situation. It could be something that you've learned or gained, for example. So just recognize the blessing to accelerate the healing and manifestation that's trying to come to you. Instead of worrying, pray and use positive affirmations. Know that everything is in divine and perfect order. So just remember, God is always on time. You're praying and your, your prayers are heard and answered. It just may not be in the form you think it will be. So um, just step into gratitude and really hold that vision in your heart and keep releasing that into the universe and let it go because there's no need to focus on anything negative. Krishna is the eighth incarnation of Vishnu, who is one of the three Hindu gods who oversees and protects Earth and her inhabitants. He is a messenger of joy, happiness, romantic love, and spiritual teachings, such as the Bhagavad Gita, which is a text of Krishna's dialogue. Krishna brings blessings to whoever calls upon him. So, with that, I bless you all. Have a magnificent day. I love that little daisy over there. Oh, they're my favorite. They just popped up to me this year. I've never noticed them before. So to me, it was like a fifth dimensional thing. It's like a marker or a road sign. Congratulations, you're in heaven. <laughs> anyway, I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.